Hi guys, my name is Marie and welcome to my Kawaii World. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing 10 different Korean lip tints and I really like lip tints over lip gloss or lipstick because they have a lot of staying power and some of them have even lasted overnight. I just want to give a big thank you to Stylevana for sponsoring this video. Stylevana is an online website where you can purchase Korean beauty, skincare, and fashion products and they ship from their Hong Kong warehouse to the US, Singapore, Malaysia, Canada, Philippines, Indonesia, the Netherlands, UK, France, and Germany. And if you use my code in the description box below, you'll get 10% off your first order and a free gift. So here are all of the lip tints that I'm going to be testing out. Some are more expensive than others, and some of them were provided to me by Salvana for free, while others I already had in my own personal makeup stash. The first lip tint is the Etude House Dear Darling Water Gel Tint, and I'm going to be testing out the color OR202 Orange Red. This comes in a stick form, but it also comes in a cuter popsicle-like form. It has a very gel and water-like texture, and the only thing is that the color really clings to your dry skin, so if you have any dry skin on your lips, you want to be sure to hydrate it first. This color is a really orangey red, and it has a bright and fruity scent. And I found that this lasts for a very long time. I put it on in the evening, I took a shower, and the next morning my daughter asked me why I was wearing lipstick. This was just okay. I don't think that this color was the most flattering. And Stylevana gave me this lip tint to review for free. Next up, we have the Tony Moly Delight Tony Tint. And I'm going to be trying out color number two, red. So this lip tint has a really thin and water-like consistency, and it also is very pigmented, so it has a lot of staying power. This particular shade is a super bright and rich and vibrant cherry red. It's really, really pigmented. When you're using this, you want to be careful not to apply too much because sometimes it will cling to your dry skin or also fall into any creases you have in your lips, and it won't look that nice. Stylevana gave this to me for free to review. Next up is a Chateau Wine Lip Tint by Labiat, and I love how it's in a little miniature wine bottle. I'm testing out the color OR1, which is Chardonnay Orange, and this lip tint has a gel texture. It's not too watery, and it has a light berry scent, and it actually tastes like wine. It's enriched with wine extract, which Labiat says has antioxidant benefits. This tint is really pigmented and it can be really long lasting if you let it dry before you eat or drink something. Salvana gave this lip tint to me for free to review. So next up we have the I'm Meme TikTok Lip Tint Cashmere in color 12 Orange Blush Busan. And this is a little bit different than the other lip tints. First of all, it comes in this clicker pen style, which is kind of fun. But make sure to click it a few times and wait. Don't click it a million times because it'll all come gushing out. This one is really soft and hydrating and I really like the design of this pen because it makes the application really easy. I don't know if you noticed in my other videos that I had a hard time applying the lip tint evenly. Especially when I'm applying darker colors, sometimes I have a tendency to apply it really unevenly. So I really like this pen because the application is really smooth and easy to control. Zalvana gave this lip tint to me for free to review. Next up, I have the McQueen Cushion Tint Lip and & Cheek, and this is in color number one, soft pink, and it can be used as both a lip and a cheek tint, which is really nice. The texture is super creamy, and it's soft and moisturizing. It's almost like a whipped texture, and it feels really good when you put it on. The scent is lightly fruity, but it's not overpowering, and I just think it's a really natural, soft, and hydrating lip tint. It's almost like a My Lips but better color, and I like how it's really lightweight and moisturizing, so I think this is probably my favorite lip tint out of all of these. I love the natural finish, and I love how it can be used on your cheeks as well. Zalvana gave this lip tint to me for free to review. This next one is Peri Para Ink The Velvet in color number 6, Purdy Red. This is the old bottle. I've actually had this for a really long time and it's pretty much my go-to lip tint. 
The finish is really natural and soft. The color lasts for a really long time, but when it fades, it fades really naturally. I've tried multiple colors and I haven't found anything that I don't like. So whenever somebody asks me for recommendations, I always recommend this product and I recently got this for all of my friends as a gift. Okay, I just realized that this next one is a lip gloss and not a lip tint, so it doesn't really belong in here. But since I filmed this, I'm just going to talk about it anyway. This Yum Yum Lip Syrup by The Sem comes in a really cute bottle. And I also like the color and scent, but the only thing is it's really hard to apply because of the squeeze bottle application. Because it's a lip gloss, it's not that long lasting, but I really like this bright pinky magenta color. and. I think it's really moisturizing and it feels good on the lips. This is the 3CE Velvet Lip Tint by Style Nanza and I'm using the color Near and Dear. And this lip tint definitely lives up to its name and its reputation. It's really velvety and soft and really hydrating. I think it's a great My Lips But Better color. The scent is kind of like baby powder mixed with vanilla, but it doesn't bother me. Sonlander lip tints tend to be a little bit more expensive than their counterparts, but they definitely make a good quality product. This is the Apiu Juicy Pong lip tint in color CR02 Jujube. I think that this is a really nice lip tint with this soft and creamy texture. It has a matte finish, and the scent is really sweet and fruity and fresh. I've also found that the color of this lip tint is pretty long lasting. On me, I felt like this color was super bold and I don't know if it really complements my skin tone, but I like the formula so I might try it in some other colors. This is the W Lab Selfie Lip Tint and this is something I already had in my stash. It's infused with shea butter, mango seed, avocado butter, camilla and marigold, and cherry blossom extract. And it's really soft and hydrating and it also has a matte finish. This is shade number one, Red Boom, and I got this in the winter time. I received this in one of those beauty subscription boxes. I think it's perfect for fall and winter because it's kind of a dark and vampy color but it doesn't look too crazy on. This last one isn't a lip tint, but Stylevana sent this to me for free to review, so I thought I would just talk about it. This is a lip sleeping mask by Laneige, and it smells like mixed berries. If you're one of those people who has a chapstick or lip balm addiction, then this is definitely one of those products that can perpetuate that addiction. But in addition to being a lip sleeping mask, you can also use this as a lip balm and I used it to hydrate my lips before I put on the lip tints. And it was pretty nice! So of all these lip tints, I think that my favorites are the McQueen and the Peri Peri Ink Velvet. And my least favorite ones are the Etude House Dear Darling lip tint and the Tony Moly Delight lip tints. Let me know in the comments below what lip tints you guys like or recommend. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!